our foaming agent. We use seventh generation dish soap in conjunction with water in order to make the solution that pumps through this thing in order to make our foam. Why do we use seventh generation dish soap? I, I wish I could say that's the reason, but it's not. The reason is because um, seventh generation dish soap has a lot of glycerin in it. For some reason, things like Dawn, Joy, um, all the commercial soaps, they remove the glycerin in order to sell it by itself because it's, 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 yeah, it's more profitable to do that. For some reason, seventh generation doesn't do that. Probably because, I don't know, maybe it's more natural to do it that way. Um, and what, what is glycerin? Glycerin is a stabilizing um, component in soap. Um, so it helps your bubbles remain as bubbles and not turn into water. So that's one key component in sodium laurel sulfate, which you're gonna find in any soap that you, that you get pretty much, any dish soap. Hopefully uh, not in your toothpaste. Hopefully not in your toothpaste, but in, you might find it in your toothpaste. And in that case, probably get some new toothpaste. Um, Did you say that? Sodium laurel sulfate. That's the list. Uh, yeah, and it's written on. It's the first. Okay, so it's perfect. The first two ingredients on on this list are sodium laurel sulfate and glycerin. So if you ever need to find out how to spell that, because it's hard words, then first two ingredients. Is that about the same as Drexel? Drexel. I prefer this to Drexel. Okay. Actually, Drexel, we had issues with it because. So for anybody that doesn't know, Drexel is another foaming agent that we have used before. It was a foaming agent uh, that it was actually made for. Doesn't really matter what it was made for. Um, it was. It's. It's, uh, it's another crazy. foaming agent. It's well. It's actually comparable because you buy a gallon, mm -hmm. and um, and you only use four ounces as opposed to sixteen ounces mm -hmm. in a five-gallon bucket. So mm -hmm. it, it goes further. So it's comparable in price, even though one bottle is more expensive. Um, but we found that it wasn't too. Um, too much better than the seventh generation and it was also kind of a specialty item that you have to buy off the internet and stuff like that so that's why we chose to go with seventh generation so answering your question um, okay so if you are in Mexico and they don't sell seventh generation dish soap what can you do you can buy go to a go to a restaurant and ask them for the best dish soap that they have and then go and buy some of that um, and the best best dish soap that they have usually is the one that has the highest quantity of uh, sodium laurel sulfate. You're probably not going to be able to find a soap that has a lot of glycerin in it, but you can go to any pharmacy and buy glycerin in a bottle, 200 milliliter bottles, or I don't know, I haven't seen it any other size. And so you can combine those two things um, in order to have both glycerin and soap and sodium laurel sulfate. Um, and it's more important to use that when we're making our mortar than it is when you're making the blocks. The blocks you can get by without too much glycerin. The mortar, you need glycerin because it needs to remain sticky and dry. Did you have a question? Or you no, I did not. Yeah, my mess. Okay. So are there any questions surrounding our seventh generation or foaming agent? No. Are they sponsoring you? Uh, <laughs> why not? That's why he's rich. Actually, you know what? We reached out to them one time. We were like, "Hey, do you guys know anything about blah blah blah?" blah? And they're like, "No, dude. We make dish soap. We don't make. We don't make air, air, air cream." cream. <laughs> you can explain to them. Um, okay, one more thing. Let's see. Seventh generation dish liquid, not seventh generation dishwasher liquid, not seventh generation laundry soap, not not anything like. Really, this is the best stuff. You can probably get by with other dish soaps can't get by with laundry soap, can't get by with dishwasher soap, just so that's very clear. How do we use it?